All right, thanks a lot, Carly. Well, we've been talking a lot about making New Year's resolutions over the past few days. Yeah, that's right. But it's one thing to make them, but how do you make sure you can keep them? Here with some ideas for Motivational Monday is Rich Brackett. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's good to be back here in Kansas City. Yeah, happy back New in the Year. Saddle. Yes. So why is it so hard for us to keep that New Year's resolution? Yeah, I think there are several different factors that contribute. Number one, we go into it with this pressure. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to change. When Jan 1 flips, when the calendar flips, we feel like we have to become this different person. And we don't give ourselves the grace of actually going into the new year or actually taking our new goals at any time. January 1 does not have to declare a new goal day. You could do it on February 10th, March 5th, but taking that pressure off yourself it going into the new year makes all the difference in the world because we aren't bound by that calendar. Yeah. Interesting. Take and that and pressure I didn't. Off, Pat. What's that? I said, take that pressure off. I know. Pat. Just be nice to yourself. So hard Pat. on yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> too hard. But, uh, but no, I understand there's like sort of a push to get rid of the whole resolution part of, you know, just a word change. But what's that about? Yeah, resolutions to me is the R word, right? So it's the word that we shouldn't be talking about. We need to change our mindset and how we approach our goals and how we approach changes in our life is critical. When we think about resolutions, there immediately becomes this, that pressure that we talk about because yeah. everybody thinks, oh, I can go do this in the new year. I can go achieve all these things if I make the resolution. But if you make the ongoing lifestyle change, the changed mindset, that is where you're going to have success as opposed to saying, like, my, re my resolution is the absolute. Changing that mindset, changing your lifestyle, changing the education you put behind your change is critical. And there are four different ways that you can change that with different mindset shifts. Mm. Yeah, wow. you want to talk about some of those changes to make sure that we reach our goals because a lot of people put deadlines on themselves and that makes it even harder. Sure, and deadlines aren't the worst thing in the world if they're set fairly. You okay. want to set the right time, you want to make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of time, but approaching your goals differently is the number one thing you need to do. Number one, have fun with your goals. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to make more money, find fun ways to do it. And don't necessarily go into it just because you have to, but because you want to. And going into a, a new change, too, you have to ad adapt that success mindset. You know, the old saying goes, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. So if you go in saying, I'm going to achieve this, this is going to be successful for me, you're more likely to succeed than going in saying, well, I've got to do this, I've got to make the change, I've got to lose the weight, I've got to find the new job. You're going to be more successful when you have that successful mindset. The third one is all about expecting adversity. I have never once, and I challenge anyone, I would love to hear any success story that has never had a roadblock, an yeah. obstacle, or in, uh, some kind of a adversity within it. And then the last one and the most important one, stop trying to please everyone else with your change. If you're not changing for yourself, you're going to be unsuccessful. You've got to do it for yourself. Don't lose the weight to look good for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Lose the weight to feel good in your clothes. If you're, if you're looking for a new job, don't do it because somebody else wants you to. Do it because you want to be happy. Those mindset shifts make all the difference in the world. And, and what do you think, Rich? I'm just curious, uh, just off the top of my head, talking about this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sharing your goals with friends and coworkers to like sort of, you know, like if I don't tell anyone I'm trying to lose weight, then it won't matter if I don't do it because nobody knew. You know what I mean? You think, right. but if I tell everybody, then I have to do it. Right. It's like <laughs> ghosting at a party, right? If nobody knows that I'm gone, then it doesn't matter. Right. Now, I think it's critical that you, you bring in people into your goals and, and have that accountability because that actually increases the success even more. Now, it's one thing to say, I'm going to go do this, but you can go in and say, hey, look, I'd like to lose weight or I'd like to find a new job or I'd like to be happier in this area of my life. Can you help me? And putting together what I call a personal board of directors is really the way that you stay accountable because those people can check in and say, how's it going? What are you finding that's a struggle? What do you need help with? What resources do you need? Finding that group that can support you, you don't have to go tell everybody. If you want to put it on social media, great. If that helps you with your accountability, go for it. No, but I like this better. The, the yeah. personal board of directors. I need a board of directors. <laughs> okay. okay. I I sign me up. I'll you be guys are a consideration. <laughs> yes. All right. These are all great tips. Where can people find you for some more tips? Sure. They can find all kinds of content on richbracken.com. Also follow me on social media, richbracken1 on Instagram. Awesome. Thanks so much for being here. Happy New Year to Thank you, you and Happy your family. New Year. And welcome back to Kansas City. <laughs> welcome back. Casey's better when Rich Bracken's around. All right. Thank Thanks you so much. Right.